Hello everyone, Matt Steele here. I'm doing another one of my videos tied to epilepsy. However, this one is not a workout. Um, I am what is called a National Epilepsy Awareness Ambassador. So, they give us like activities to do to help promote epilepsy awareness. And we do some of them and then we try to share them with people. Um, so, one of the one this these past couple months... They've had a couple of them related to painting. So, I, I've always enjoyed painting. So, I thought I'd give them both the world and then I'd share them with you. Um, the one this month was paint a picture representing someone with epilepsy. So, now this one actually, I included a lot of purples in. Um, so, I have it going up a hill, you know, because it, it can be a struggle at times. And then I said, a life with epilepsy. And then I have statistics. So like starting at the bottom, I have 1 in 26. And that's the number of people throughout their lifetime that will live with epilepsy. And then next we just have the brain because that's where it all affects. It starts from the brain and then it spreads. It can spread everywhere. Um... And then I have the one-third. One-third of people who live with epilepsy will also live with depression. And then I have the six-tenths, because six out of ten people with epilepsy have an unknown cause. So these are some main statistics with epilepsy. There are many others. But if you notice, as I did this, I tried to have the smaller one at the bottom, larger number at the top, and the brain kind of in the middle. Um... And last month's thing that I painted was, what does epilepsy mean to you? So, for that one, we did not do as many purples. We did not do epilepsy logos. No, my mind has always thought, has thought differently on some things. So, um, give you this painting, hold it up for a little bit, let you look at it, think about what I might be trying to do here. So, my thought on this was, you know, everyone has has to deal with it, but um, you want to look forward, not look back. It might be a rough road you're in. You might be in the uh, valley part of the mountain. Um, and as you're going ahead, you might be dealing with a tough time right now related to your epilepsy. You might not be totally controlled, or you might be trying to figure something out, um, or you might be coming out of a brain surgery, whatever, but you have to always think that, like other things in life, it will get better, you will, even, even if it's not for a long time, you will have a better couple days, a better couple weeks, um, things will be better, and that's the thought I had with, like, the rainbow, so, you know, you want to look forward, Keep going, get through the bumps. Right now you might be in a downtime, in the in the valley, in the storm, but things will get better. Um, and then each of the two past months, they've also they've also wanted us to do a paint your pumpkin purple thing um, to kind of go with last month, with obvious reasons, you know, tied with Halloween, and this month kind of tied more with a fall idea, so that they would still have like gourds or pumpkins around so last month actually mine was not purple per se mine was things related to epilepsy and I did it on three sides of one pumpkin so on side one we have a general like purple ribbon side two which was what I consider the center eh was ultimately my favorite. Epilepsy does not have me. I have epilepsy with the epilepsy flame in the center. And this one is the final side. Some of the main statistics related to epilepsy. So 1 in 10 people will have one seizure. 1 in 26 people will have a life with epilepsy. And out of those 1 in 26, one-third will have depression, as I mentioned in my other one, and a 
as I mentioned in my other one, 6 out of 10 will have an unknown cause. Now, right now, I live in Eastern PA. I live in King of Prussia, um, which is a suburb of Philadelphia. So I like to use this one statistic, 110,000 in that one part of the, of the state, not the whole state, but roughly 110,000 live with epilepsy there. And in the U.S., there are 3.4 million cases, approximately. In the U.S., there have been 5.1 million cases, like, that have been report, that have been, um, like, diagnosed, and people have lived with it over time. However, some of those people have outgrown. Um, and then the really big number down below... 65 million people in the world have it. So it's, it's a very common. It's the fourth most common neurological disorder. Um, between. So it's, it's very common. And that number that you see, those numbers you see, are just, you know, like a ripple effect. That it's just like dropping the first stone in and then all the other people it can affect and all the other people that have to know what to do is amazing. So, for my, and for my other project, for my other paint your, um, paint your pumpkin for this month, what I did was I did it on two different ones. One, I did my, I did, um, key dates and numbers with my life. And another one, I did, the same thing, but I took I took two of the general statistics that you've seen on a couple of the others, and I painted them on opposite sides. So, I had my first seizure at the age of one and a half in 1991. Still live with epilepsy because even though I'm controlled, I am still on medicine. I said I'm controlled. That was the date of my last seizure. So I'm now looking at five and a half years. <clears throat> And this was the other one I did. This one, again, is the one-third. And the six out of ten that I've mentioned a couple other times. Those are other key numbers that are not the... The one in 26. The one in ten. Or the... The number in the U.S. Like, if you're to know a couple other numbers, those are really important ones to know. Um... There's also the seizure first aid numbers, but if you were to know like statistics about epilepsy, I'd say those two, the number of cases in the U.S. and um, the one in 26 are probably some of the main ones to focus on. Anyways, I'm, I've also done, you know, a poem this month and a couple other things, um, don't forget, it's National Epilepsy Awareness Month, so don't be afraid to, even if it's not you, to um, share something you might know about epilepsy with someone, or do a light around your, uh, around your office building, or at your garage, or a highlight on your house, or, um, you know, or... Do purple sidewalk chalk. Even if it's not you directly who lives with it, um, this is a good time to help raise awareness in general. Oh, why do you have that down? Oh, because we want to try to get more people aware of epilepsy and what it and how it can affect many people. Um, so again, just wanted to share my uh, creativity with everyone, and I hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day.